I came up with the idea of a promoter to make it measurable how loyal a customer was. In the early days, I looked at retention. How long did the customer stay with you and, and what was the share of wallet that you got of, of the category that they're buying from you? Are, are you getting 100% of that or are they sharing that with a lot of competitors? I think as we moved to promoters, it just became easy to measure in real time because you can't measure retention until somebody leaves and then it's often too late to do anything about it. You can learn what went wrong and not make that mistake again. But with a promoter and asking how likely you'd recommend us to a friend with a zero through 10 scale, somebody gives you a 10, you know right away that you've done something wonderful that you want to repeat. And if they give you a two or a three or a zero, you know you screwed up and you've got to fix it. And it's, it's more of a real time opportunity to learn and adjust. So promoter passive detractor was the framework that I tried. I got as simple as I could without overdoing it. You know, you could have success failure, but I like having passives in the middle because I think so many businesses have gotten fixated on satisfaction is enough. No, it's not. Customers who are passives, they're, they're, they're not unhappy, but they really, they got what they paid for. They're not gonna be loyal. So you wanna to go to this next level of creating promoters if you really care about growing a business. And if you really care about putting your employees in a position where they're enriching the lives that they touch. Because passives do not feel that their life has been enriched.